going? Hi, Lars, it's Erin, and I'm going to show you how to frame a cell. And in this case, what's perfect is I picked out misguided muscle. This is a great limited edition cell, and it's the same size as your Fanatic piece. Um, what's great about this, too, is it's hand signed by Maurice Noble, who did the backgrounds for all of Chuck's cartoons, and it's really special. Roadrunner Coyote. Anyway, um, so basically, the back is the, the background, the color laser background, and then here's the hand painted cell. So the framer needs to obviously wear gloves and take the cell and obviously just line it up with the background and lie it down flat like this. Then it's good, I'm going to just try to get this in my hand a little bit, okay. So it's, it's lined up and it's laying down flat. Then uh, we take a, a piece of archival framers tape and try to get it so that it can, I sometimes like to just stick it on the very edge of the piece so that it'll be matted in and you won't see the tape. So like so, hold it over so it stays together, both the background and the cell are together. Then I have here the frame that has the mat, you can see it already. And I lay that down, you know, um, some want to air it out, like get any dust off of it, as well as you can, you know, use the plastic clean and shine and, and get all of the dust particles off. And then take this cell very carefully and lay it on so that the mat you know, covers it or mats it in. And now we're going to just check and make sure. In this case, we might be able to see the tape. I don't know if we can. Can you see it? You just can. barely. Okay. So you might want to just jimmy it around so that you can't see the tape. Maybe push it up a little bit. And then, does this look center? Yeah. Okay. So then, it's up to the framer to take, and I like to do this without the gloves because that way I can get a good grip on the tape, but go around, start with the corners, and a lot of times what we like to do too is actually tape the cell so that the cell doesn't slip below the background, and then also tape the um, background as well. So, but on the corners, it's good to go around first. And then, um, you know, just go all the way around with the tape. And then once that, once that is around, then you can put on the background. And what we like to do is put the, the, the certificate of authenticity on the back of the piece. But you just put the background on. Um, take the framing little peg gun thing, you know, and click, 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 click all the way around. Um, the framers tape on top of the wood here, so it covers that up and it, it makes it look really nice. And then, then take the, um, screw this on so that you can hang it on the wall. Okay? So I hope that helps. Please email me and let me know if it doesn't, but um, I'm excited about your piece and, and excited about getting also your Marcus Pearson up on the wall. And I look forward to hearing from you. All right, thanks, Lars. Bye.